Hi, I'm Jessica from Jessica Wanders, and this is my no spend pantry challenge. If you're new here, I will leave links to the entire playlist in the description below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you get to see more videos from me. So let's get into it. Thanks for being here, guys. Sometimes you just want cereal for breakfast. I'll tell you what happened because New Year's Eve kind of got canceled this year for a couple of different reasons. I've got all this stuff that I had for a charcuterie. So this is what I am snacking on for lunch. Another one, a second lunch, and another bowl for my husband to take to work. There we go for a quick lunches. So I have this small bag of leftover crab from the other challenge, I think. When I have basil in the garden, I make these little things of pesto that I freeze in an ice cube tray. So I'm gonna use two of these. I've got linguine, and I'm gonna use canned milk for the cream and Parmesan and pesto for like a pesto Parmesan sauce. I'm gonna add some peas, I think, and some garlic chives, and then this crab on top. So it'll be like a crab pesto pasta. I also have this Borson cheese, also, also from New Year's, and I think that I'm gonna add like maybe half of this to the sauce too. Just trying to add as many cheesy, garlicky <laughs> flavors to this pasta sauce as possible. put this um, imitation crab meat directly into the sauce. Imitation crab meat was such a good deal. I think it went on sale at Freshco for like 99 cents for one of those little packets. So it's not the best tasting from what uh, you know I learned about it. It's actually a, you know crab flavored pollock which is still pretty good. But for 99 cents it sure goes a long way. There we go. I'm gonna add a little pasta water to the sauce. I've got enough leftovers for a whole another dinner tomorrow. This tastes really good. I think it thickened up so much, maybe because of the borson cheese and the pasta water. I was worried it was gonna be too, too runny, but it's not at all. This imitation crab is just fine. Good. I like the peas in there. Thumbs up for me. I know that I have canned pumpkin and I have frozen pumpkin, but I also have pumpkins in the basement. Today, I'm gonna to cook it up in the oven. I'm just gonna cut it in half and bake it, and then I'll have some pumpkin that I can use to make some pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin spice pancakes. They're really good. I had so many problems with blenders breaking. Maybe I have too high expectations or I demand too much for my blenders, but I eventually bought this blender and it has been working fabulously. Because the pumpkin is so stringy, I'm gonna blend up the liquids for the recipe so that it has it's more smooth. I'm putting about a cup and a half in. I have a lot of pumpkin to use up. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm gonna use two cups of holy flour because that's what I'm trying to get rid of. It'll make them a little bit more dense, but I've done it before with the, the uh, holy flour and they turn out okay. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. I do normally make my own brown sugar with molasses and regular sugar, but this was left over from another challenge. So I've got this bag to use up. One teaspoon of allspice. So they're kind of stiff, but if you just put them on and then kind of flatten them out they do okay. I'm using a heaping quarter cup measure. I 
I hope that you're here for the good ideas and not the cooking instruction. Here are my pancakes. I've got the uh, lemon juice and sugar, which apparently is common in Australia where I've never been before, but that's cool, cool. I had opened this strawberry jam that I had on oatmeal the other day and I'm trying to use that up. So I've got that on some other pancakes. My husband will take them to work. Sometimes he puts peanut butter jam and makes sandwiches out of them. There'll be breakfast for him and then snacks to take to work as well. I was reading online that you can sprout lentils the same way that I do alfalfa sprouts. I'm gonna use my sprouting jar and I'm gonna give it a try. They have to be whole lentils, so whole brown lentils or whole green lentils. I have this chicken in the freezer and I'm just gonna cook it up, boil it so that I can use the meat for a variety of different recipes. Uh, for lunch, I'm just gonna have this tomato soup. I'm gonna grate up some of this charcuterie cheese that I have. I'm gonna make the tomato soup with milk. I'm going to fry up these pumpkin seeds in some oil with some onion powder, some cumin, some chili flakes, and some gar uh, garlic powder. It doesn't take very long to toast up the seeds. I probably put a little bit too much oil in there. And it does really taste like wine cheese. Wine cheese, we gotta use up. Well, it might be just tomato soup, but it doesn't have to be basic. Fancy it up, there we go, for lunch. One of the things that I'm finding difficult about the pantry challenge is that I'm not always around to film everything that's getting eaten by everyone. So I kind of like after the fact. So we have no more yogurt. It's a popular thing uh, for work lunches. So that's gone. I'll have to make some other kind of like oatmeal or rice pudding or something for lunches. Uh, this morning for breakfast, uh, there's still some leftover pumpkin spice pancakes that I'm gonna have with this uh, rhubarb, rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb jam, which was super good. And these are for lunches. I put three in there. I did soak these overnight. I'm just gonna drain them and then just rinse them every day for however many days and see what happens. Because New Year's was canceled, I have a lot of things. Sparkling apple juice. I'm gonna have sparkling apple juice with my pancakes this morning, which is hilarious. When I was looking through everything, I didn't actually look in the crisper. <laughs> I've got a couple of carrots. I have a, a million lemons that I don't know what to do with. Two green onions I didn't even know were in here. And I got these beets from the garden. Beets last forever in the fridge. I'm gonna give them a scrub and cook them up. And, uh, Make some soup. So I really had to dig down into the freezer. On this side, under the, the basket, I put all of my sort of garden produce. Now I've got some beets. I have blueberries from my actual blueberry bushes. The slaw mix, it's got carrots and kale it looks like and maybe some cabbage chopped spinach more mangoes green peppers, peppers mix stringy beans means that they're well they were probably a little bit oiled and i'm not enjoying eating them i should move those to the fridge and use those up stringy beans from last year i was looking for this cabbage to add to my borscht it just takes one chewy horrible stringy green bean to ruin your happy soup but i'm gonna put some in the borscht i'm gonna try to get rid of them use a, like a third of the cabbage that was in there. I'm going to make another soup. I'm going to use these red onions that I had diced in the freezer. I've got this cabbage from the freezer, these stringy green beans from the freezer. Uh, I'm not going to use all these beets, maybe one. I've got these potatoes that need to get used up from the garden. I've got some garlic to use up. I'm going to use some of these carrots, probably not the whole thing. And then this is almost empty and was in the fridge. And then another one of these beef broths from the pantry to use up. I'm going to use a few of these carrots. This is the last jar of carrots. Just a few carrots in there. A deep dive into here, the back of the fridge, which is way down low. I'm just saying, please be feta. Oh, see the feta? I have no idea if this is gonna be good or not. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Looks totally fine. That's <laughs> great. I have feta cheese, you guys. I'm gonna do up some salads. I've got just a little bit of sprouts left. I've got these beets. I'll mix, dice up the rest of the beets, freeze them, and then put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm generally unimpressed with these green onions. Yes, they did grow green onions. Do I think that they're very good? I'm gonna sacrifice this experiment, but I mean, it did work. They're pretty small and tiny. So that's what I got from planting four ends of green onions. And I'm, I'm not sure that it's worth it. It did work, it made more green onions check. They taste exactly like green onions. The dressings that I need to use up, I've got Caesar Ranch and Thousand Island. I don't want that on this. Balsamic oil and vinegar I made up. So I'm going to put that on top of my salad. That finished off my first batch of sprouts. I feel like my goals are getting a little bit loftier. Like I really want to clean out the fridge. I've just got so much stuff in there. This is meal prep too. This is for a uh, work lunch for tomorrow. And then this is my lunch for today. I'll add some lemon juice, you can add vinegar, and some pepper. It smells wonderful. I'm also gonna add some sugar. I gave it a taste and those, it's not the best Porsche I've ever made. Those green beans, they have a strong flavor, but um, it's not bad. It will do. Vegetable soup with beets, we're gonna put some sour cream on it too. There you go. For work. These are quite huge bowls. So. so that's how I do lunches. So this is my lunch for today, and then this is is a lunch for work for tomorrow. Yes, just as I suspected, stringy bean green beans ruins your soup. Ugh. And also, I really hate the taste of these canned carrots. I don't know why they're mushy and they taste weird they're fine when they're blended up in like a soup or something like that but on their own i just don't like them at all everything else is wonderful the beets are wonderful potato the taste of the soup is very good man i'm still gonna eat it and this beet salad is really good too i suspect you have to really like beets which i do with the nuts it adds a little even more crunch i'm glad i found the feta cheese honestly i've been looking so much at the freezer and uh the pantry lately that i haven't been looking into the back of even just the fridge. Yep, these green beans were making me really unhappy. Almost as happy as chicken sausages and spaghetti. And I hate waste probably more than your average Joe, but these these beans are driving me crazy and I'm never gonna use them. I'm sorry, beans. So I deboned all those chicken uh, drumsticks that I had. Normally I would make stock out of this. I have a whole lot of stock. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like, like carbon. No, 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 no. No, 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 I was never here. So I've got all this chicken um, that I can use for a bunch of different recipes. For dinner tonight, the star of the show from the pantry is this rhubarb barbecue sauce. I'm gonna use this jet suggestion from Emerson Williams uh, because the other thing about the sidekicks was just kind of a tip and they had so many great suggestions. So they said uh, barbecue chicken uh, bacon ranch. I'm not going to fry up any bacon tonight, but uh, barbecued chicken uh, pizza. I often do pita pizzas. It's pizza mozzarella from the freezer. I've got some olives. These dehydrated mushrooms. I've got this shallot peppers from the freezer. And I'm not at all all of this chicken, but some of this chicken. So I'm going to make uh, four of these pita pizzas for, uh, for dinner, for one dinner, for two people. I would use up this ranch dressing. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a ton. I'm going to use up this ranch before I start using up the ranch that I want to use up. That was great. I used up a whole container of this rhubarb barbecue sauce. That's gone. And there's some chicken, and that's the chicken that's left. Just a couple of mushrooms. I always put too much, too many toppings on all pieces. Then they're just, like, overflowing and ridiculous, so... We'll try and go a little bit easier so it's not, not silly. And some olives on each one. And a little bit of shallot or onion, whatever you got. Whatever you have. So loads of cheese. Those are going to go into the oven. I'll probably switch them halfway, maybe 12 minutes at 400 degrees. Very good. 
little pizzas. Gonna chop it over here. So the way this works, I make four pizzas. I have one pizza. Um, my husband has two pizzas for when he gets home. And then he takes one pizza to work the next day, if he's working the next day. Ta-da! Ranch dressing on top. It's not very drizzly. And I have the second batch. They look great too. I love these pita pizzas. And if you use whole wheat pitas, then they're pretty healthy. Oh, this looks pretty good. And the barbecue sauce on there is really good. I like it with those Nardello peppers. They aren't too spicy, but they have a great flavor. Barbecue chicken pizza with ranch dressing on top. Excellent suggestion. Thumbs up for me. I think the sweetness of that particular barbecue sauce that I have could have handled a lot more heat. I could have put some jalapenos on there. Maybe some cayennes. So when he gets home, we look at all the food that I've made throughout the day, the borscht, the pizzas, and the salad, and then also the there's leftover pumpkin pancakes. And uh, my husband will eat this stuff, pizza and borscht right now, and then take pizza and salad and pumpkin pancakes, and then peanut butter jam pancakes. Seems like a lot of food, but he's gone for 14 hours when he goes to work, so there you go. And then also some cereal. And a granola bar, and sometimes a Gatorade. A granola bar and a, and a Gatorade. And, and a thermos of coffee. <laughs> and a thermos of coffee yeah. with milk. Uh -huh. Okay. Sometimes I go to the store and I get a pepperoni, but I'm not allowed to buy anything this week. <laughs> This morning I'm going to make uh, like breakfast rice pudding with this leftover rice that I had. Um, milk, vanilla, some raisins, an egg, and a third of a cup of sugar. Hoping that I have just magically the exact right amount of rice. I need one and a half cups. I hope it uses it. We're gonna use it all up anyways, I think, but let's see. One cup, one and a half cups. That worked out well. We'll cook that for, I don't know, like 15 minutes or so. <laughs> I was supposed to put the sugar in before I started boiling it. Yay, me. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt as well. It's a little bit thicker. I'm gonna add another half cup of milk. And some of these pretty sad looking raisins. More raisins. Definitely thickening up now with the egg. My husband loves rice pudding. I'm more of a tapioca pudding girl. <laughs> there we go, that made two pretty big servings of rice pudding, I'd say for breakfast. I might be okay with a little bit less sugar in, the, in it, but it's really good. Okay, I've got these bananas out of the freezer. They look horrible. <laughs> They're fine once you peel them. Um, I'm I found a recipe for banana bread. Uh, it's not the one that I normally use. I can't seem to find the one I normally use, but I'll post it. But instead of all-purpose flour, I'm going to use whole wheat flour, so it's going to be a little denser. And then baking powder, brown sugar, a couple eggs, some butter, salt. <laughs> Two eggs. Two cups of flour. A teaspoon of baking soda. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. pretty thick it might be pretty dense but it smells really good so hopefully it'll be yummy okay that was crazy i reset the timer it was 
ready. I checked it and the toothpick didn't come up clean. And then my phone rang and I was just running around, but it looks good now. Everything looks fabulous. It looks a little over, over, overdone on the top, but there it is. I like really thick slices of banana bread. Oh, it looks pretty good. Looks like banana bread. It's gonna pre-slice a bunch so it's easy to grab and eat for breakfast in the morning. Yeah, yummy. Feels really like moist and spongy in there. Couldn't resist I'm having some because it smells so amazing. It's so crunchy on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thumbs up banana bread. For dinner tonight, I have this chicken. I'm going to make up some wraps. I've only got two of these pitas left over, but there's a lot of this borscht left over. And then also, of course, the rice pudding. For the other person who eats a lot more than I do, um, but for me, one wrap is, is probably more than enough. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna do chicken. I've got this sort of generic top, or Indian seasoning that I do up it has all my favorite things in it. So I'm just going to fry up this chicken and some oil with this seasoning and then also some of these green peppers. I'm gonna make like a bean dip with uh, the rest of what's left of this sour cream. I have another whole one in the fridge and with feta cheese. Um, yeah, and a nice wrap. Also because uh, there's no work for a really long time, like 12 days. 12 days with my dishwasher home again. So I know you guys really wanted a lot, a lot of like lunch prep, but he's actually, he's not going to work for the next 12 days. It was a lot of chicken, so I'm just gonna keep some out, maybe for some sandwiches. Some of this Indian seasoning has like cumin and garam masala. You know, instantly like butter chicken in here, which I love. Some of those yellow turmeric spices that are so good for you. Peppers. Just mixing the beans up with some sour cream to kind of make like a spreadable bean paste, bean spread. I spread some of the bean mixture on my pita. And now I'm gonna spread off some of spread some of this chicken with these peppers on there. It's a lot. There might be left over this. And that's a wrap. Just like that. That's how I'm gonna eat it. So this is really good. I could have added just a little bit more salt. Actually, I don't add salt to my spice blends because I like to salt to taste. Really fast and easy when I already had like peppers in the freezer and I already had chicken, so it made it really easy to whip it up for dinner tonight. This is everything that uh, my husband is gonna eat for dinner tonight. After eating everything that I ate yesterday throughout the day at work, he has come home and he is gonna eat everything that I ate today. We're gonna have banana bread for breakfast. My husband picked the next jam. I've got the zucchini bread jam. And he's gonna put it on my banana bread. It smells a lot like apple pie. He really likes this. I'd never actually tried it, but it does taste exactly like apple pie, which is super yummy. So I'm gonna try some on mine. Yummy. A leftover lunch. I've got this leftover chicken. I actually have more of this leftover from the chicken wraps from yesterday than I thought I was gonna have. So we add this together, make some sandwiches and a couple of small bowls of borscht. So I'm not putting the bean stuff on the sandwiches. That's lunch. I found some of those uh, bread and butter pickles, some cheese still from Christmas, <laughs> from New Year's, some Havarti and then jalapeno Havarti we had in the fridge and then some borscht and then also uh, some peri peri sauce my husband put on his sandwiches. For a couple of meals, I'm gonna make some beef and bean and cheese burritos. I've got this taco seasoning that I just kind of mix up myself. There's hardly any left, but I'll use it up and then I'll have to make some more. I've got this salsa that was in the fridge. I've got the rest of this container of sour cream, but then I have a whole other container of sour cream. I've got these 
half a bag of beans left over. I had made this bean already. I've got these jalapenos from the garden. I've got these uh, burrito shells. Just like a nice bean dip. It's a little gray because of the black beans. From the red cheese. Uh, we're gonna have this for two meals, so I'm gonna make six um, burritos. Just do them up all at once. I've got this bean dip, the salsa. He's gonna try this peri peri sauce because there's hardly any left, and we need to get rid of that. Two is the ground beef, and then we've grated up this cheese. And that's the end of the peri peri sauce. My two burritos, I'm gonna put one aside, I'm gonna eat one for dinner. It's a pretty good beef and bean and cheese burrito. It's got some heat to it from the jalapenos. This morning, I'm gonna do up a smoothie. I found a tiny, tiny amount of uh, plain yogurt. I've got this apple juice from the pantry, uh, these frozen strawberries from the downstairs freezer, these ground cherries, and I still have four um, bananas even after I make this banana bread. So I'm gonna have a piece of banana bread and a smoothie for breakfast. Ground cherries. banana bread for breakfast. For two dinners and maybe more, I'm going to make some slow cooker pulled pork. I've got uh, chili powder. These are chicken broth, thyme, some brown sugar, some oil, apple cider vinegar, and that's really hot. It says blazing hot. I tried it, it is quite spicy. Um, Worcestershire, mustard, I've got a lot of mustard open in the fridge. I think it was from camping and stuff like that. Uh, this pork loin, um, garlic, these red onions from the freezer. I also pulled the buns out of the freezer, so we're gonna do like, kind of like pulled pork sliders. Blazing up barbecue sauce. Just a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and a tiny amount of those chicken bouillon cubes. They make two cups and I only needed a quarter cup, so I used like a tiny amount of that. Some of this frozen red onion, a bit of mustard, a bit of Worcestershire. Always more Worcestershire. I didn't really have the garlic because I've got a lot of garlic to use up and I like garlic. So there you go. Um, brown sugar, some chili powder, and a tiny bit of thyme. There you go, mixed it all up. Looks pretty good. There it is, I tried it. It's nicely spicy, kind of smoky. It's gonna be great. And I'm gonna do up some beans for a side. I also found these sandwich pickles are kind of like a bread and butter sandwich slicer pickle. We have a few left in the jar. We use them up. Oh, there's my little pulled pork sliders. With pickles and some beans as a side. For two dinners. Definitely that blazing hot barbecue sauce is got some kick to it and I like the pickles on top. Thumbs up pulled pork. Good morning. 
Rhonda Aki and Sarah Grant both suggested bread pudding. So that's what I'm making this morning. Thank you guys so much for your suggestions. These are the ingredients that I'm gonna use. I might not use up all the bread, these bread ends. I've got a mix of these sad looking raisins and these other sad looking blueberries. Sugar, four eggs, some butter. I'm gonna scrape all of the rest of this, I can't believe it's not butter, out of the container. I've got a little bit of vanilla and some cinnamon. So finally used up this, I can't believe it's not butter. Also milk, of course, I didn't have milk on the table before, but two cups of milk. Also, I have this other cream, hardly any left in here. I'm gonna use it for like thicker, thicker bread pudding. Vanilla, I still have some bread left over. Okay, I squished it all down, I made sure all the bread had soaked up all the milk, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. There it is. It's definitely springy. There it is on the inside. I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, how could it be bad with all the sugar in it? It's good with the blueberries, actually. It tastes really amazing with the blueberries. Thumbs up from me. Bread pudding. Obviously for like two breakfasts. Uh, what does my husband think of the bread pudding? This is awesome. Quick thumbs up. Thumbs up. Both thumbs. Both thumbs up. <laughs> Excellent. This is cranberry sauce. So it's cranberry jam that I found in the back of the fridge. What I did learn is that you can use cranberry jam as jam and it's super yummy. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of this peanut butter that is left from the challenge. And then this is my regular peanut butter. So I did, I finally used up all that peanut butter. There I go, peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. Peanut butter and cranberry sauce. So oh, we're just gonna have some quick pulled pork sandwiches. I'm gonna put some of this pulled pork away and anything else that we don't use up from that with these bread and butter pickles. And then this I'm gonna finish up. Here's these pull pork sliders for lunch and actually have a lot more left over to add to the leftovers that I have. This is what my fridge is looking like. That's the door, still lots of sauces. Uh, the crispers are pretty much empty. Still lemons, green onions, and a couple of carrots. My husband did a great job cleaning stuff down here. I've got milk and iced tea and juice and pickles and these carrots that I don't like at all. A couple of burritos. That's the bread pudding. And this is the pulled pork leftovers. Still feta, um, parmesan, and olives. And then all these things in jars that I have to get sorting through. Sour cream mayonnaise. That's what's in the fridge. This is the fridge freezer. I've got the Hulumi burger still. Um, some cheese, pizza mozzarella left. Some peppers, just butter and stuff. And then uh, zucchini, carrot, or pumpkin puree, some carrots. Still some burrito shells and egg roll wrappers. These cherries, those are some peppers. Should be downstairs actually. Blueberries, chives. We've got four bananas, spinach. And then all of these actually are like broth, like turkey broth and chicken broth. I got these peas. This is the outside freezer. It doesn't look that much different. It's still a lot of veggies under there. Still pierogies. I do pierogies again. And this is the downstairs freezer. Used up some of these ground cherries and some of these strawberries, but this whole bag of strawberries has to go. I just come down here for peppers and other stuff and other meats if I need them for meals. This is my pantry that I set up for this challenge. Um, still lots of sidekicks, still lots of sprouts, roast gravy, uh, oriental packets, red hot sauce, still I think three barbecues, and then one of those Thai hot sweet, and this harissa sauce. Lots of beans still. These aren't totally full, maybe half full. 
Lots of jam still. Still haven't made the jello. I'm not sure what to do with these salad dressings because I don't have any salad. So I've got ranch, Caesar, and Thousand Island. And still some soup, peas, mashed potatoes down here. Oh, this couscous. I'm gonna have to come up with a meal for this couscous. Pancake mix still, lots of beans, lots of milk. I brought the tomatoes up from the pantry. More pumpkin, rice, and uh, lots of juices and more flour. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can click my face if you wanna subscribe so you're notified. Check out the join button to see how to become a member and support my channel. I will post links to this entire playlist and to uh, maybe the $21 a week grocery challenge if you're interested in my other challenges. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week.